welcome back to my channel so today um we're gonna do a video that you guys have been asking me to do for a long time and i'm just now getting to it don't ask me why but um you guys have been wanting me to do like a haul and a full face using shop miss a <laughs> so i finally ordered some stuff and i'm like let's just do a full face um i'm literally going to be using everything from shop miss a i think only one thing i couldn't find was like a setting spray um i already had a few products you guys know that kimmy had sent me like the brushes these are the um, i think the pm set she also sent me this brush set like the brow gel concealer and she also sent me this bb cream which i haven't tried yet so on top of that, I'm just going to show you guys what I got real quick, and then we'll just jump into the video. So everything came in a big bag like this, and it came in like a week and a half or whatever, and I don't know if you guys know, but Shop Miss A does have two stores in Texas. I don't live in Texas, so I had to order online, and everything is a dollar on their website. There's a few things that might be like a dollar and change, but... You get the dress. Like, everything's usually a dollar. It did come bubble wrapped and, like, wrapped up really nice. Like, this is the bubble packaging. And this is my invoice. And I think I got about 27 items. So, that wasn't bad. Oh, I did get some lashes. And I got three pair of lashes because I was so undecided. So, I got two pair from Cara Lashes. And these are 100% human hair lashes the first pair are 702s i don't know if y'all can see that like 702s they look like that the second pair are 805s and they look like this and those are, like i said are from cara lash and then I got a pair of lashes from the AOA Studio line. And these are in the style L. And they look like this. And these are probably what I'm going to go with because I love these. So I got those lashes. I picked up um, some lash tweezers or lash applicator right here. I did pick up a sponge. This is the AOA Wonder Blender. And it's supposed to be two times softer than the original. And it's just baby pink. Really soft, really squishy. And it does, it's not wet, but it does already feel softer than the original one. So that's good. I did get a baked highlighter in the color Macaroon. And it looks like this. If I can get the damn thing open without breaking the nail. <laughs> This is what macaroon looks like. Can y'all see that? Really pretty. But next, I picked up a concealer. And this is from the company called Starry. It's called Starry Concealer. And I don't even have a clue what color this damn thing's supposed to be. But it's a cream concealer. It looks like this. But I don't know if I'm going to be using that. I did get two baked eyeshadows in the color Poetic and Reina. This is Poetic right here. A nice like lavender type lilac color. This is what it looks like. I think that's cute. I think that is really cute. So, and this is Poetic. No, this is Reina. Oh, shit. And it's just a gold eyeshadow. But they wrapped everything up really nice and secure. Nothing came broken, thank goodness. I got three eyeshadows from the company Amuse Cosmetics. And these are their smoky single eyeshadows. This is in the color Desert. Desert looks like this. It's just a nice brown, chocolate brown. Then we got a, another one in the color Chestnut. And it's just a deeper, like dark, dark chocolate. And the last one is in the color Teddy. And this is just a nice transition brown. So, yeah. I got a blush slash high, blush and highlighter from the same company, Amuse Cosmetics. And it doesn't have a name, but the number on here says number five. 
And this is just a blush and a highlighter part. That blush, I hope it's pretty because it looks nice. And next, everything else came in this baggie. The rest of the stuff I ordered. Like, I really went all out for this full face. Only thing I couldn't get, like I said, was um a setting spray. So I got two um AOA Studio lip pencils, the Wonder Lip Liners. And I got it in the color Bombshell. And this one is Divine. If y'all can see that, this is Divine and this is Bombshell. I will give y'all swatches when I open them up. This is a sculpting brow pencil, the AOA sculpting brow pencil in ebony. You can't see it. And this is a black eyeliner, and it's just jet black. And this is by, I don't know what brand this is. It's not AOA Studio, though. Then I got the AOA Studio Hyper Lash, and you get the pre-lash primer and the mascara. And I think it was supposed to be like fiber lashes type thing on my jiggy. If I'm not mistaken, when they advertised them. So, you know what type for that. <laughs> and this is just what they look like. The primer and the mascara. I did get two face primers. I got one. And both of these from AOA Studio as well. This one is the Perfecting Blur Primer. And it has like little gold flecks in it. And this one is just straight clear. And this is the Poreless Primer. And y'all know I got them big ass pores on my face. So, hopefully that works. Um, I got this Amuse Cosmetics Waterproof Eyeliner. And it just looks like this. It doesn't have a smell. And it has a brush. I don't think it's matte. So I wish it was because I love a matte liquid liner but who knows this i just bought for shits and giggles <laughs> it's basically a mascara with a glitter in it don't ask me what the hell i'm gonna do with it but i bought it i did get the aoa um studio perfect setting powder in a banana and this is not i mean i hope it works i hope it's no flashback but if it is good this is not bad for a dollar it's not really bad for a dollar um, I got two lippies from the AOA Studio line, and I got Bombshell and Divine to match the lip liners. And last but not least, oh, I'm so scared. I've got two foundations from Amuse Cosmetics, and these are supposed to be matte finish foundations. And I got the color Mix in 11 and Mix in 12. I hope they work. I don't know. I haven't even tested them on my hand or anything. So... Now that I'm done rambling and showing y'all everything that I bought for this full face, I'm going to wet my sponge and we're going to just jump right into it. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. I wet my sponge, which is super soft. It got super big, like big AF, like, and it's so soft. Like, oh my goodness. It feels soft like a beauty blender, <laughs> like a real beauty blender for $1.55 keep that in mind but um i took all the plastic and wrappings off of everything so let's just jump into it my face is already moisturized um use my regular moisturizer because i didn't get one from shop Ms. a so i'm just gonna jump into some a primer and like i said this one is supposed to be perfecting uh yeah the perfecting blur and this is the poreless primer i think i'm gonna use the poreless one if you see me looking down y'all know my mirror is here I don't know how I feel about this primer because it feels super watery. Not bad. I mean, I did um slightly minimize my pores beforehand because I just figured that this wouldn't like really blur them, but they don't look bad. And I'm going to put the other primer on the rest of my face. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to let the primer get a chance to sink in. Now let's jump into these brows. So I am using, like I said, the AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil. And it just looks like that. If y'all can see that, it's what the point looks like. So, yeah. Shaped like a teardrop. A teardrop. <laughs> So let's just see what I can do. 
I will say off the bat, I don't think I'm going to be a fan of this pencil because I just don't like the shape. I like something that's small, skinny, and precise. But we will keep going. I don't think I'm a big fan of this pencil. And it's really stiff. And it just broke. Alrighty then. Alright guys, I am back. My brows are done. Um, I didn't conceal them yet, but that pencil is terrible. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just going to take this concealer and this E115 brush and try to use it to um conceal my brows, <laughs> I guess, pretty much. And I hope it works, but I cannot stand that pencil. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, it is what it is, right? right? So we are back. <laughs> and these are the brows. This concealer is like super light. Like, as y'all can see, it is super light. And... I mean, it did the job, but would I use this again? No. The pencil, brow pencil, I wouldn't use that again either. So, let me see how this primer looks. It really didn't do anything for my pores either. I'm going to take, I don't know which one of these is going to be closest to my skin tone. But we're going to find out. That is number 11. Can y'all see this? This is number 11, and this is number 12. Number 12 seems like it'll be like better for my skin tone. So yep, I'm gonna just take it and put it all over my face. The consistency is like nice and thick and creamy, but I don't know what the coverage is like, so. We will find out together. And I'm going to spread it out with the brush. I want to use this brush right here. This is the F7 High Def Brush. So I just want to take this. And try to spread it out. Um, hmm, I don't know. Well, for starters, it ain't full coverage because you can still see my mark. It has some coverage, but it's not full coverage. So, yeah, because my hyperpigmentation is still peeking through. Um, the color. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't look bad, but then again, who knows? <laughs> who knows? This is interesting. This sponge, though. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to order me another one if they don't get sold out again. So, I think I'm going to put another layer on and this time I'm going to dab it around my face with my finger yeah because look at it, it's really thick like it's like a moussey type of consistency but it just doesn't have tons of coverage but let's see if it's buildable maybe Alright, so it does look like it gives a little bit more coverage. Just a little bit, not much. It's supposed to be matte, but I don't see no claims for that. Because it's not like it's shiny, but 
I wouldn't say it's a matte finish. Like, it's pretty dewy. It's pretty damn dewy, if you ask me. But I mean, like, if you don't have, like, scars and hyperpigmentation like me, you might be able to get away with this foundation because it's not terrible. Like, I've used worse from more expensive brands that I hate it. So, I won't say this is terrible. Definitely not terrible. It's like, I would say it's like a BB cream on steroids, right? So, I don't think it's terrible. So... Every time I do my makeup, my nose started running. What the hell? So now I'm gonna just go in with concealer, and I'm gonna use the Wonder AOA Wonder Concealer in the Fawn, and you gotta use this like quick because it does start to dry fast. You see that? So pretty. This sponge just has me amazed, though. I never found the sponge that's not a beauty blender that acts like a beauty blender. So, so far, this is what we're looking like. And I'm concealed. So, let me set it with the powder. This is their banana powder. I'm going to take the sponge and dip it right into the powder. And on my bacon, I'm just going to set it. Set it and forget it. <laughs> From here, it doesn't look bad. The coverage, the finish. Like I said, it's just not really... Uh, the foundation is just really not... What's the word I'm looking for? Full coverage. <laughs> but, oh, uh, yeah. Let's keep going because I don't want to make this video, like, super duper long. So, I'm going to take this big, fluffy powder brush. This is the F12. And I'm just going to dip it into that powder. I'm going to dip it right into the powder and just use a little, very lightly, to try and set. <sighs> Woo! This is the Clean Color Team Raw Contour. You can get off of Shop Miss A. And Kimmy sent this to me as well. And I like this a lot. And I'm going to take this contour brush. And this is the F14. And contour on my face. I'm going to do blush. And I'm going to use the same brush. I can get the damn blush open. And this is the blush I showed y'all. That's cute. It ain't too bad. So let's jump into the eyes real quick. Now, I did notice that these sets don't have um, eye brushes. So I'm just going to have to make it do with it. Do with what I got. So I'm going to take this brush. And it's a stippling brush, but I'm just going to use this to take some of the banana powder and just set my eyes from when I put that damn concealer. I just want to set my eyes lightly. All right? Bam. Like that. So I don't want to make this too long. This is already long as hell. So let's jump into this brush. This is the F19 and it looks like you can use this for highlight, but I'm going to use it for eyes. Like, it's pretty big. Like, this is a pretty big brush. But it's okay. It's okay. Because I'm going to do a simple eye. I'm going to jump into the color Teddy that I showed you guys as a transition. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, Teddy, come through. Oh, that is pretty. Teddy is a pretty transition color. So now I'm going to go in with the color Desert. And this is the next dark brown. I'm going to use the same brush because we're just building the color up. Like that. I want to try to use all the shadows I bought. So 
So this is chestnut, this darker brown. Smoke out the outer. Oh, I got a lash in my eye part. Like such. Oh, that is nice. These little amused single saddles, single saddles, single shadows is nice. So now I want to take the um, fawn concealer and I want to put some on my lid just as a base right here in the center. I'm going to take this brush, and this is the E113. And it's just basically a concealer brush. And I'm just going to blend it in. Because I want to go in with the color Raina, the baked gold shadow I showed you guys. And I'm going to pop this on my lid using a different a different concealer brush. This is the F121. And this is a big shadow. So let's see if this brush will pick it up. I hope it do. Yeah. Let me see how it look if I use my finger. Yeah, that's cute. I'm going to go back in with this brush and just soften that. Like such. I'll take a little bit more of that dark chocolate brown. And I just need to add something in this tear duct. So let's see what the color poetic looks like in the tear duct. If I can open it, <laughs> can't open up nothing. I'm gonna take this pencil brush, the E124. kind of see a little bit it's not real pigmented but you can see it a little bit so let me finish this eye and i will be right back I'm back <laughs> finish the eyes well finish the eyeshadow um i'm gonna take the same pencil brush and i'm cleaning it on my clean sweep and i'm gonna take the dark brown color the color i think it was chestnut yeah chestnut this dark color and I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line. I wanna take the black eyebrow pencil. I just wanna add that in my waterline. So far, me looking cute. Y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see, but it looks cute. So. Um, I think I decided to not put on lashes because I want to use the fiber lash or the hyper lash, whatever they want to call it. And let's see about this eyeliner. Let's see about this eyeliner. This is the Amuse Cosmetics Liquid Liner. I'm just going to do a basic line. I like this liner. I did a small little wing, nothing dramatic, but this liner is really nice. And it does dry matte. It does dry matte, so that's a plus. So while my face is still damp, I'm gonna jump into the macaroon highlighter. I'm gonna use the F13. I don't know if this brush is picking it up or not, but. Oh, yeah, it did. A little something. It's a nice, it's a nice highlighter, though.
this is divine right here this is divine this is a bombshell I'm gonna put bombshell right here because I don't know which one I want to use and there are matching lippies the liquid lipsticks this one is bombshell put it right up under there bombshell and divine right up there so I don't know what color to do it they are really similar like <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go with um, the bottom which is bombshell So, the last thing to do is the part I'm most excited for, and that is the lashes. So, I'm probably going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little better. First, got to use the white side, the white tube, which is the pre-lash, and it's just basically a mascara. And then you're supposed to put on the fibers. And you can see, like, let me see if I can show you. It just looks like little fibers. I believe the fibers would work better with a different mascara. And I say that because you can see the fibers. Like, I literally have, like, the fibers in my hand. But... It's like the mascara dries kind of too quick. So if you don't move fast, you can't even get the fibers to adhere to your lash. I'm going to try it again. Try to move quick. <laughs> That's a little better. All right, guys, so I am back. This is the finished look. And I don't think it looks too bad. Um, So let's go over the products really fast because this video is really long as hell. <laughs> so um, I'm already here for the brushes. Like, the, I didn't use the fan brush, but the brushes are bomb. The white set, the black and the white set. Like, I love them. So brushes, A+. Plus. Um, the concealers, the, where's the other one? This concealer, I can definitely live without. Probably never touch it again. I love the AOA Concealer and Fawn. I told you before, these, um, this brow gel is good. It's really good. Um, this blush was cute. It was cute. Um, don't know if it's something I'll be reaching for, but it was cute for what it was. These eyeshadows, the baked eyeshadows, are really good. And I will be using these, especially this gold one, in the future. Um, I already told y'all before that I like the bronzer. I mean, yeah, the bronzer. What else? Um, these primers. I can live without these primers. I'm not even going to lie to you because they're type watery. So I can live without those. But these here... These Amuse eyeshadows, these single eyeshadows, baby. Like these, pigmented, pretty as hell. I'm definitely going to be using these in the future. Um, The highlighter, I love it. Nothing really to say about that. Um, The powder, I didn't do a flash test. I'm going to try to do one at the end. And if I do it, I'll insert the picture. And if not, I'll just let you know in the description box about the flash on this. But so far, so good. Um, sponge, amazing. Like, amazing. Love it. Super soft. Super big. Super bouncy. So, um, the lip. Of course, I love the lip. The lip came out nice. The liner and the lipstick. So, that's a plus hated it eyebrow um sculpting brow pencil hated it 
right along with the concealer. Um, I didn't get a chance to use the BB cream, so that is going to be reserved for another video. I also didn't touch my glitter mascara. I should have, right? I should have put some on. Let me put a little bit on while I be sitting here talking. It ain't even doing nothing. I ain't even going to mess with it and mess up the um mascara. What else do I have sitting in front of me? Oh, duh. The foundation. <laughs> the foundation. It's a pass for me. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. Like I said, if you want something that is like a BB cream, but with a thicker consistency, and if you do not have hyperpigmentation, I repeat, if you do not have spots that you want to cover, acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, these would be perfect for you. Like for a dollar, these would be perfect. They come in tons of tones. Um, but let me not say tons of tones, but they do have like a nice little variety of shades. Um, like I said, I am in mix, mix in 12. I did buy mix in 11 and it was light too light. Um, but like I said, it's not something I will be reaching for to go to unless I just want to put something light coverage on my face and don't want to waste one of my good foundations. Then I can see myself reaching for it because I did pay for it. Yeah, I know I'm not going to just like toss it, but it's not something like, oh yeah, let me grab the Amuse, the, the Amuse foundation. Like I'm not going to do that. But like I said, if you don't have to cover up much and you like something light and you're like natural basic makeup, then these would be good for you. And, um, I think that's all I got, right? The lashes I didn't try, but I tried their lashes before and their lashes are bomb. So, you know, lashes a lash, pretty much. Not them little plasticky lashes, but these are really good quality lashes. Oh, and yeah, the mascara. Um, I love the fiber side. This side could use a little bit more improving because it dries super fast. And I hate the wand. I hate the wand. So, um, but I mean, together they're a good pair. They're, I mean, it's a dollar or I think it was like a dollar or two dollars. You get, you know, you're getting what you pay for. So it's pretty good, but the fiber side is really nice. I really do like it. It did make my lashes look really pretty. So I'm just looking with that being said, um, I would say I'm like 85% happy with the outcome, like with the purchase and the face overall. Like I said, I just didn't care for the concealer that I used for my brows. Did not like that um brow pencil. The eyeliner was nice. Oh, and the liquid liner. I didn't tell y'all. This liquid liner is waterproof. It does dry matte. This might be, this might very well be, and this is from Amuse too. This might very well be the best dollar low-end cheap eyeliner that I have bought in a long time there used to be one from NYC cosmetics you can see um, I used to buy it from Rite Aid and I can't find it anymore this reminds me of that this is bomb I'm going to order so many of these so I can just have them on reserve this eyeliner and look how quick it starts to dry this eyeliner is bomb I don't think y'all understand. See, you can still see my, my spots. But this eyeliner, yeah, like I said, I'm like 85 to 90% happy with my purchase. Like I said, I just could live without that brow pencil, that concealer compact. Um, the foundation was in, and the mascara side of the pair. Other than that, everything else was good. Everything else was good. The brushes are amazing. Oh, and the primer. I can live without that primer, seriously. But... This, get y'all one of these. So, with that being said, let's wrap up this long video. I will see you guys in my next one, and I hope you enjoy this. Later.